Hi, welcome to another vlog. I need so many vlogs at the minute. It is, I have no idea what day it is. It's Tuesday. I only know that because of my bullet journal. This literally is the only thing keeping me organized. I'm on half term, so it's gonna be a pretty chilled day. The only thing I've got planned is I have a Doppler test today, which is basically a circulation thing for POTS. If you didn't know, I faint a lot and I'm being tested for this thing called POTS. I did a video speaking a little bit about it when I had an ECG, so if you wanna know more about it, go and watch that video. But today I have a circulation test, which will allow them to give me compression socks to help with my circulation, which will hopefully help my fainting and the fact that I have no blood flow in my feet. <laughs> so I don't really know what that involves. I think it's something to do with like an ultrasound and the blood in the bottoms of my legs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this with skinny jeans. I'm probably gonna to have to change before that, but I've got that this afternoon. This morning, I'm gonna do a load of jobs, change my bedding. I might put white bedding on. My room's gonna look so weird, but I think I'm gonna put my white bedding on, which I haven't used in about two years. I'm ready for a change. And then I've also gotta do college work, a little bit of music, a little bit of art, and I've got a lot of shop orders to package. So all of that is my plan for today. I'll see you when I'm doing some of that. Makeup's the same as always. Number seven stick concealer in cool vanilla. I have like 16 different eyeliners. This one has no packaging on. I think it was probably from Amazon. Oh, it's got the star on the end. It's from a pack of shaped eyeliners and I, I just used the other end of it. It's pretty good. I've kind of done a little bit of eyeliner today. Nothing too heavy. And then my good old highlighter that I've had for like probably many, too many years. Whoop, whoop. Do we do mascara? Do we not? I think I will. This is MAC, MAC Stack Mascara. This is amazing. No, I don't have any, I don't have any tissues. I always go in with a tissue and just take off the excess because there's always too much for my liking. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take my rolls out now because my hair's probably gonna be dead poofy. I still have my 100 balloons just in the middle of my bedroom. Whoa. <sighs> I'm gonna show you my outfit. It's a little bit weird today. I'm giving hiker chic, but it's fine. I'm wearing mid-waisted skinny jeans and I don't know how to feel about it. <sighs> the top's cool though. Take a hike. And then skinny jeans. That's weird. I need my green pillows to match that. They're in the wash. I've got my shiny photo paper. I need to print some more Megan Cat products because my stock has run out. So I'm gonna make some more and then package orders. Why aren't you printing? <sighs> Come on. is going to America, which is so cool to me. It's my second package going overseas. Someone's ordered one of my chicken's pins, which I absolutely love. They're the only acrylic pins that I stock. I love them so much. A little thing from all my ticky friends. 
These are really awkward to package. I might put it in a little baggie inside the envelope. I just spelt forget wrong. I'm an English student for God's sake. I'm gonna add in one of these little freebie pins. I've got a little batch of freebie pins that I'm not gonna be putting up for sale, but I, I still like them, so they're gonna be freebies. And a pumpkin sticker, as with every single order. I'm waiting for this person to reply about something in the order, so I'm gonna leave theirs until later so that I can add in the last thing. I've just changed into some baggy pants, put a little checker jacket on. This is a Zara find that I got, I think, for £4 in a charity shop. Amazing. I'm heading to my Doppler scan now. Made my bed, done a load of jobs, had my lunch. I'm gonna go get this done, see what they say. Hopefully I'll get some answers about my pots. And then when I get back, I'm gonna do some college work. I'll see you in a bit. Wish me luck. I don't know what I'm going into right now. Hello, voiceover Zara here. I just wanted to pop in and talk about how I paint my nails with my ticks because it isn't very evident in this video how much it can actually impact that. But obviously, as you guys know, I don't tick 24-7, so there are times when I'm doing things like painting my nails or doing my makeup where I don't mess up. It isn't impossible for me to do it. But it does inhibit it sometimes, like it can be tricky when my ticks do act up, but usually when I concentrate really hard, <laughs> my ticks kind of go away and it gives me a break. As you can see here, it's pretty much fine. I don't really have that much of an issue. There is one little bit where my ticks <laughs> do kind of kick in, but I just take a break, get the nail polish away from my hands so I'm not gonna spill it, and then I just let the ticks out and then carry on afterwards. Here, I was actually just ticking like vocally. Most of my ticks are either grunts or little sniffles. You wouldn't really process that there's a noise even there unless you were looking for it. I thought I'd just explain this little part of the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hello. It is the next day. I've got a little bowl of a pear and some yogurt because it's snack time. It looks like it's gonna storm. I've been loving pear at the minute. I'm going through a pear phase. It's the next day because I was filming yesterday, but while I was doing my art, ooh, I've gotta show you that. While I was doing my art, my camera died. So obviously I stopped recording then. I didn't film anything else yesterday because I took my dog out for a walk and then pot symptoms, fainting type things kicked in halfway through the walk and I felt literally like death. So I got back home, had some water, had some tablets and got a snack and then literally just slept for the rest of the day. It happens, I have a lot of days like that. It's life with chronic illness. The only thing I filmed was later on in the evening, I did some art. There's some footage of me doing some studies from a couple of the books. I tested out some new paints that I got. Ecoline watercolor inks. They're so good. I just ordered a load of them because I'm doing a project on children's illustration <laughs> for my exam for A-level. And I'm doing studies of Axel Scheffler. Sheffler? Sheffler? Who is the person who illustrated the Gruffalo. Room on the Broom, the Gruffalo, all those things, you're bound to know them. If you haven't read these, what did you read as a child? <laughs> and I found out that he uses these inks. His studies always look really vibrant, but then they also look like watercolour, so I was like, how do you do that? My watercolours look literally past all, no matter how much I put down. These, amazing, I really recommend. These are the final studies. I did the little mouse from the Gruffalo, which I'm so happy with. And then the owl, which I don't really like as much because I messed up the pen, which you can't really remove, but I still like it. And then I've got a little frog and a cat, and these are from Room on the Broom. I just really, really like how these turned out. They're so vibrant. I love them. 
I also did some oil pastel studies, which I actually really like. I thought I hated oil pastel and I decided to use it for something different. And they ended up being pretty much my favorite things I've done for this project. This literally took me like 20 minutes. They took me like 20, 30 minutes each. And I love them. They're studies of some photos I actually took myself. So I get more marks, but yeah, little tomatoes and a leaf. And then I'm in the process of doing this little watercolour bunny. But you see the difference in the pigment? That's watercolour, that's watercolour inks. It's crazy. So that's what I was working on last night. And then today, I haven't really done much. I've been procrastinating a lot. I have figured out what I'm going to do for my room makeover. I don't know whether I kept this in. I might have edited this out of my vlog, but I've mentioned a couple times when filming. I really want to redo my room. I'm sick of it. I like the vibe and it's it's all right but it needs updating and i really hate this corner of my room you hardly see this i've got this whole corner of my room over here which is normally so messy but i reorganized it today i had loads of boxes there and i was like i can't unfold them i want to put them on my, under my bed but i'll have to break the boxes to put them down all I had to do was remove the tape and then it folded and now they're under my bed. So thank you, Daniel, for <laughs> pointing that out. I FaceTimed my friend Dan and he basically told me I was an idiot and then the boxes folded. It was great. So I'm doing that and then I want to get a wardrobe and a new cube. This is my plan, okay? Hypothetical plan here. I've organised all this. So before, this was literally piled up to like here because I had so much stuff there, but it just looks so messy because of the rail. This stuff is all the stuff that came from this corner that I've now organized and that's going to the tip. But yes, room makeover. I wanna move the cube, put the cube here with another one to make it a big eight cube. That will be tall and I can put stuff on top, remove the shelves, put some stuff on top, loads more storage. Move this to here. Move my piano to the corner and my guitars next to it. My desk can shift over just a tad so that it's in the middle. All the stuff under my desk can go in the new cube over here. All this stuff can go under my desk and on top of and under the piano. New wardrobe here with my mirror. I can put my coats on the back of my wardrobe. While I'm at it, I'll give you a quick little outfit of the day. I don't like the cardigan, but I was cold, so it's necessary but these pants are from Vinted and I really like them they're kind of mid slash low waisted but I feel like it fits me very well <laughs> and more storage on top I've got it all planned out I really want to do it but I don't have the time so I'm gonna have to wait till Easter I've even gone on Ikea I love it where you can build your own wardrobe like on the PAX custom design thing you can go on and build your own wardrobe and it's the best thing ever. My hair's crazy today. But yeah, I've designed my custom wardrobe that I'm probably just gonna get. But enough rambling. That is my little update. I do need to study. I've been procrastinating studying all day. I got my books out and then realized I have a market research call in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do that for an hour. And then, why am I waving the spoon around? I tend to do this a lot in my videos. In my baking video, I'm still doing it. In my baking video, I was just wafting a wooden spoon around for no reason. I'm very expressive. Stop, but I can't, I can't not do it. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up for this call, do that for an hour, then study for an hour, then have tea, and then do more shizzle. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be productive. This is an intro supported at the start. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another vlog.